everyone, this is Danica. If you're new here, I like to do videos of Dollar Tree hauls and Dollarama hauls. I love finding really inexpensive ways of sprucing up our houses, sprucing up our lives. In my case, also sprucing up my classroom. I am here today with a Dollar Tree haul. I will try to keep it short enough so that you still get to see everything fun, but you don't have to waste your entire day doing it. So I am going to get started. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing more Dollar Tree hauls, also Dollarama hauls, some DIY videos, and just basically, you know, different things to make your life a little bit better. The first item I'm going to start with I got at in a section at Dollar Tree that I hardly ever look at. So this first section is, this first item here is fashion tape, and the second one is a bra converting clip. So the, the fashion tape will be, you know, to tape up any items that you don't want sliding. You know, if you're wearing a scarf and you want it to fit a certain way and your bra converting clip is perfect. You know, especially in the summer when we're wearing racer back shirts, you don't want your bra to show, you just clip it back and away you go. I picked up these two frames. So this first one here. I thought was really cute. I'm probably going to leave it just the way it is, but if you wanted to, um, you know, sort of take it apart and fix it up, I can show you here. So this was the, another one I bought. So it had this piece in here and I, it's really easy to take off. You can just sand this down and paint it however you want. And there's a little clip in the back to hang it up. <clears throat> I picked up these two pens, actually four pens, two packages. They're the Ink Dual FX. They're actually a 3D pen. So I'm gonna do a little clip of how they look once I've written with them. So they are, in each package, there are two different colors. So that's why I got both packages. I picked up these magnetic list pads. This first one says stick to it with the cactus. And then the little llama, it says lots to do. So these are really nice, you know, you always know where it is. It's sort of up on your fridge or somewhere handy. So I, I love those. I picked up this notebook, so it has the elastic to keep it closed. It is a traveler's notebook. So it has two little notebooks inside that you can just sort of slide out. So you just slide this part out. You can carry this around with you. Once you're done, you slide it back in. And then you've got your little journals kept together in this little cover. There were other patterns as well. This one was my favorite. I picked up these decorative accent glass gems. So I've never seen them in, this, in these types of colors. I think that'll be really cute in the bottom of a vase or a bowl for um, summertime. I got this hanger to use in my craft room. Now I, I'm still in the process of organizing my craft room. I feel like this is just sort of a steady thing. This is, you know, what, what, what I do with my life. Um, I think it's really nice. I have a lot of things hanging up in my craft room, whether inside door ca cabinet doors or on the walls. And I love it because it's very easy to see what you have and to remember to use it. I also picked up this little container. It was just a straggler. I couldn't see any other ones. I did see um, tin ones, but uh, not in this bright color. So I'm using as many bright colors as I can in my craft room. It's sort of got a rainbow theme going on. It's a magnetic container. So that'll be really cute in there. Also this for my craft room. So they are the wall stickers nice bright rainbows and some sponge. So these are the nail guard sponges. You get six of them for $1.25. I don't think you can beat that price. I've never been a big user of sponges, but these ones I really like. I think it just fits into my lifestyle right now. We're very busy people. So whenever I can, you know, get, get something done real fast. I realize it's not the best for the environment. I do a lot of things well for the environment. This isn't one of them. Um, I try, I try, but sometimes it's just not 
not the best thing for my life. Um, this is the next item. It is a cutting mat I got for, um, for with my Cricut. I bought a new rotary blade that I will use with this mat because I didn't want to use the same ones I use with my sewing. A couple things for my classroom. So these little cutouts with the little, the waves are sparkly. So I thought those were really sweet. Also these little cupcakes. So probably in September when I get my new students, I would put their names on here and have sort of a little birthday bulletin board. Probably put their name and the birth date. I love, love, love puzzles. Not jigsaw puzzles necessarily. What I really enjoy are Sudoku and crossword puzzles. So I found these ones. I really like the size of them. They're a bit smaller. I can throw them in my purse. So the Sudokus look like this. You know, if you're interested. The other ones are bigger, but, and that's what I'll, I do at night when my eyes are a little more tired, but these are nice for, you know, just throwing in my purse. These ones here, the crossword, so the word search is, um, the, the words are a lot, and the words and the letters are a lot smaller. So, but there are a lot of words, so that's fun. Found a few different hair accessories. So the first thing, my daughter wanted everything pearls. So we got this clip. There was also a different shaped one, but with the same, same idea, just different shape. There were these bobby pins with the pearls on them. There were also some with bigger pearls. There was this hairband elastic with pearls, as well as this pearl headband. And what's really nice with this is it's actually very soft. So I don't think, you know, if you get that pain behind your ears when you're wearing that, that one won't be too bad. And this one here, not pearls, but really cute with the black bow. Just a classic little headband. A few craft items. So I found these moss balls. Um, so there were these big ones. So I'll show you what it looks like without the uh, bag, so the glare, and also the smaller moss balls. So there are four in this package. So I got two packages. There is also this moss ribbon. I had already opened it up. So, I mean, you're not going to be tying bows with this, but you can use it to add trim to a frame or a box, you know, I'm sure people can come up with some great things. If I ever do end up using it, I'll try to show you what I did. I also found these this natural bark. So it's bark with moss on it. Thought those were fun. And these natural wood slices. So I already opened up the bag just to have a look at them. There are a few different sizes inside the bag. So they are real wood and I bought four packages of those. I picked up two skipping ropes. There are a lot of different skipping ropes right now. I, there were the ones that have sort of a braided nylon. I preferred, I know when I was younger, I preferred this style Found it turned a lot better. So that's what I got. Might throw them in an Easter basket or I will keep them for the cottage this summer. I bought these the wood pallets. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. I've seen a lot of different projects. You know, you can paint these, you can stain them. I mean, there are tons of different ideas. If you just uh, do a search, there are tons of ideas. So I'm gonna have to decide what I'm going to do with mine. And I can't wait. These are really cute too. Foam mushroom picks. So everything's been opened because I already filmed this video. I'm doing it a second time because I wasn't happy with it. So these, you know, you can just add to any flower arrangement. This is what they look like. I think they look pretty real. So that'll be a cute addition to a craft project. I also got these little wood pieces. 
sorry, that sun is making it a little harder for me to show things. So craft wood thick bits. So there were hearts and stars. So I thought those were fantastic. And I also picked up some blush and highlighter. So this is actually what I went in for this time. Um, so I picked up, now they are out of the package because, so this is what the packaging looked like for all of them, but different colors. So there are two blushes and two highlighters. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you will subscribe. Like this video if you enjoyed it and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on in your life. I hope you're doing everything you can to find your joy. I know it's a little harder these days, but with spring coming, that should help us all. Have a good week and we'll see you in the next one. So there are two blushes and two highlighters. So the blush has, this first one here is Glowin. So that one is Glowin. This one here is called Flushed. So it's a bit lighter. I don't know how well you can see that. I'm so sorry about the lighting. You know, can't control the sun, I guess, eh? This first highlighter is called Poppin'. Um, so let's do it here. So it's really just a nice golden <laughs> glow. Okay, this is ridiculous. And this last one, so that one, is, it seems to have a bit more, so more of a rose gold. That's the one, the glow that I just showed you. I'm gonna try to do it somewhere different. I'm gonna move this over. What if I do it here? So can you see that? You can the sun. So I'm not sure how well that's showing up. And then this one is Halo. So I'll do it right next to that one. So I don't know how well you can see those. Very sorry about that.